Cruz are doing. Very important. And I, 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 it didn't take three seconds. It took three <laughs> steps uh, into any of your stores. So what are, what are you doing right now, now 11 years later, that, uh, that resonates so well with your team, with your clients, just with the whole vibe of your store? I think that you need to understand who you are and understand what you're good at. And like you said, she referenced letting go of your kids. And yeah. Let them do what they're good at. Mm -hmm. And let's do what we're good at because it really works. Good at, and be flexible enough as we're growing. That's That's been the challenging part over the last couple of years is now we're, I mean, we're very blessed, first yeah. of all, but we have, what, 120 people? You know, it depends... And we're going to have you list all of their names before the end of this podcast, right. you awesome. know, uh, <laughs> just to, to test your recall. You know, we just trained six new people no, yesterday. Uh, okay. You got to cut me a little. Oh, right, right. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, we're actually training six. Today, today. Six today. I keep today. thinking oh, okay. today. Yes, today. Right. today, but yeah. So. Yeah, so, um, you know, I forgot, lost my train of thought there. Let them do what they're good but at. But yeah, let yeah. them do what they're good at because they are good at it. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of a self-fulfilling prophecy because... It becomes more than a job when they are allowed to have pride in their job, mm -hmm. and it's great because it allows us to do what we're good at, and we're pretty good with relating to them at the people end of it, trying to do what's right. Yeah, you know, for living by the 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 core values. Yeah, yeah. treating them. But I'd say the key treated. is is the, what we feel is if you truly have those core values in mind with every business decision you make things will turn out good. Mm -hmm. But I think that if you are uh, more, I, I don't know how to, selfish or self-centered. Yeah. Yep. Self-gratifying. Right. Mm -hmm. I think that um, you're getting away from the direction you should be going and, to. And it'll be obvious to your team that that's what you're, is motivating you. And right. They're gonna, right. And right. Then, like I said, they can walk away and go work the next day somewhere. Oh, that, that same right. day. Same yeah, day. exactly. Same day. Absolutely. So, so we're trying to make, the thing we're working on is trying to make it a career. Mm -hmm. Hey, well, you, you've done that again. Hilda May, whose name will probably, you know, I'm glad this isn't a drinking game because, uh, well, it is. <laughs> I, I'm having some Mountain Dew. So, yeah. Water and Mountain Dew. But uh, women like her, uh, you mentioned Sandy, whatever her maiden name is now, Palmer. Palmer, uh, yeah. But you, you um, had... When, 11 years with us. 11 years. Yeah. And uh, just the, the point that you made about uh, kind of releasing them to what they're good at. She seems to be good at everything, first of all. Uh, but secondly, like she takes on a lot of the social media stuff for you guys, mm -hmm. for all, I think for all of your stores. Yes. And one of the things that I come across... Unfortunately, is I'll run into uh, situations where team leaders don't want to give that control because they're they're scared. Oh my gosh, what what my stylists might say about social on social media? Yeah, and they're, right, yeah. Right. Uh, <laughs> but you guys have to, have have discovered how to find someone who's good at it, and this is their lane. Let's have them. Let's give them the keys and have yeah. them drive drive in it. Mm -hmm. uh, what are some other areas that you see uh, you can empower people in your your stylist managers key holders? Besides social media, social media is just an example. But w what are some areas? That... It's really, I mean, it's unlimited. You know, mm -hmm. we. T I mean, anybody can become an assistant manager. We've really in incorporated the assistant manager, the manager development program. Um, and we don't have a limit. We don't say you can only have two assistant managers. You can only have three. Yeah. If there are people that it's justified and they deserve the promotion, we can have ten. If yeah. you want. Well, doesn't that give you a kind of in your stable? Uh, oh. uh, uh, just great quality leaders yes. that you can, and especially because you said you don't you don't uh, hire managers from the outside. You promote from within. So if you got this envoy of assistant managers just waiting for, and you're getting ready to open up. Yeah, we're location. getting ready to open a store. And we did, we completed the uh, like a month and a half ago, but yeah. we completed the Taiwani. Is that who it is? Yep. Taiwani is yeah. our new uh -huh. manager, and everybody was really surprised. But that reinforced why we allow anybody. You don't have to be an assistant manager to apply mm -hmm. for the right. manager. Yeah, Anybody. Hilda May, Hilda May wasn't right. Uh -uh. And, uh, right. Shot no, Mountain Dew. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah. so we and that's what I told the girls. We interviewed twelve. We did twelve interviews. Twelve this time. I for I was to... the for the new manager of any one one five opening in July, and um, I had been contacted by 
a manager of another franchise, and she won't come to work for me unless I hire oh, her as right, a manager. Right, yeah, yeah, I see. And I, so I Which tell Which makes people, sense on her side. I did. She would absolutely. have come and we guaranteed her yes. manager, manager within position. six months. Right. Okay. So I could have just brought her over and had that whole position filled in one hour. But instead, we interviewed 12 people for an hour and a half, yeah. you know, each, yeah, which each we enjoy. We enjoy getting to know them and giving them that opportunity. But, I mean, I'm serious when I say we come out with it. Just think you know, about the so. goodwill of the rest of your, all the rest of your team members right. who saw, and now they're going to hear this, about what you did. You could have, I don't want to say it was an easy way out. You could have taken the easy way out right. and just right. hired Quickly. a quality woman who already knew how to manage yeah. a st team members and, and all that kind of stuff. Well, you have but. to think about the benefit that they get too, um, because it, it takes courage to apply for that. Yeah. It takes time to update your resume. Nobody likes to do that mm -hmm. stuff. And, you know, it takes a lot of courage to, so this time we had a team interview. So it was okay. me and Angie in yeah. every single interview and also Tessa, who's our area manager. Yes. So operations manager, sorry. And, um, that is good for their development. If they do have, you know, thoughts of furthering their career, those are things that they need to do. Um, you mean sitting down and being interviewed? Yeah. Yeah. Updating yeah. their resume, yeah. being interviewed. And I, I heard you guys ask, "Why do you want to be? Why do you, Why do you want this position?" Yeah. So you really ask them to do a little soul searching. Right. Yeah, right. Right. Yes. Right. Yeah. Right. And we every time we find out something new about the people, and that you know, broadens our relationship with them and I think it also broadens their relationship with us. Mm -hmm. And they learn a lot about us mm -hmm. too. And we take every candidate very, very seriously. And like I said, Ty was, you know, if you're going in, you have people that you She's think- She's only been here about a year, year and a half, right? Right, right, okay. right, mm -hmm. right. She's very impressive through the process. Oh, she told me she's she's gonna have the top store in the market within two years. So <laughs> right, yeah, love I'm it. Just let, I'm letting y'all know yeah. that right. she's throwing it's, down the it's gauntlet. It's been documented, uh -huh. so we're uh -huh. holding her to it. <laughs> so we love those interviews, and I think that it's good for them. It's good for us, and um, hopefully it builds, adds to the culture we want. Mm -hmm. Well, and Dan even takes another step further, which again, I think this is just another example of how we truly care about these people too. And he recalls every single silo, every single applicant back. Good point. And tell, and that's not an easy phone call because only one out of the twelve were happy. Right. Okay. So out of all the twelve, he offers the position to whoever we chose. Uh -huh. But he contacts every single person that applied mm -hmm. and gives them feedback. Mm -hmm. This is what you should put on your resume. This is what you shouldn't put on your resume. These are the things you did really well. Here's a couple things that work on for the next time we have. And that's not an easy conversation. Mm -hmm. Those are not easy conversations. No, I'm sure. So he yeah. takes the time to contact each person back. Former HR director uh, before my restaurant days. That's why I got out of the HR oh. because I, I was tired of <laughs> dealing with right, what you're right, talking right, about right. and right. telling up. Uh, yeah. I get it. That's yeah. that's not Yeah, fun. I mean, when they get the courage to apply, they also um, get their hopes. Make, uh, and they make they're themselves they're vulnerable. About it, right? Yes, yes, so. they are. Yeah. But I try to give honest feedback in a positive manner and say, you're doing a great job. This is what you need to improve upon, and you'll be there. Mm -hmm. and well, and it must be encouraging for them as well to see – not like you guys are slowing down. I mean, you're you're adding new stores. You're right. so they they just know if they take your advice, they're going to get another chance right. down the road. And right. that's that has happened. We have two current managers that applied more than once. Really? And then okay. Got the position. So Amazing. it has it has. So they stayed. What they didn't leave bitter. Right. They stayed. Right. They grew. Right. Yeah. One right. improved. Yeah. Right. And, and their resume skills and interview skills and, all, and yeah. management and leadership you know, experience. Also, we find yeah. out. You know. We have, well, we had two managers apply that have been managers with us before. So oh, uh -huh. they're, we're leaving it open enough that they feel comfortable enough yeah. to come back and apply. Um, we had people that have been on food stamps in their life mm -hmm. and are now buying new cars, yeah. getting new homes. Um, we've had people that are building families. I mean, it's, so that is a benefit too as we hear all these stories. So family, so we'll talk about uh, 16 and a 12 year old. Is that what yes. we, is that? Uh, so has, has it happened? Do you, you find, do you have more family time now than you, you did 11 years ago or? Yes. Um, yes. Too much family time sometimes? Is that, is that <laughs> no. such a thing? Uh, I, I'm, I, I'm saying as a father of three, it is such a thing, but. Yeah. Right, uh, right. Yes. No, I, I get the opportunity to coach my daughter's softball team. Oh, wow. 
And, um, you know, those are very important moments. We have a great relationship. I hope Sport Clips um, is a sponsor yeah. of your daughter's. Oh, yeah, yeah the, the local course, Sport right. Clips. Right. Okay, all right, yeah. all right. Yeah. All right. Uh, right, so... Uh, so that's, uh, that's, a, that's a clue to other, like, potential team leaders that are thinking about right. It looks really good when you sponsor a sports team with sport clips. Yeah. So yet another reason why you would want to buy into sport clips. Yeah, we have a, a high school legion team that wears sport clips uniform. <laughs> oh, get out of here. Um, That's next level right yes. there. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so, yeah. So, the, so, the, so not that I'm winding the podcast down, I'm not, but uh, I wanted to, to get kind of close the loop on the full circle of you, you got what you were after. It, it yeah. wasn't easy. Yeah. Right, right. You, you no, barely no. survived the early days kind of thing. And they, but then you doubled down. Um, you went from your three-pack to whatever you have. I don't have any, what your license is right now. Right, but, right. Uh, and you're not slowing down, and yet you're getting that quality family experience. Now, let's see, 12, right. so only six years, and then he'll be in college. Right. And so, I don't, you know, uh, you're, you're, I can do? see more right. of each other. So, so, so <laughs> where, where are we going to say, Andy? Well, no, I think so, it's... It, so there's going to be a lot of opportunity right. for our girls. Yeah, there, there you that's go. That's right, yeah. that's right, yeah. No, I mean, if we, yeah, if we got to the point where it was too much for me, and then, so three years ago, then Dan... Okay, joined. that's the, thank you yeah. yes. for, for tying that back like, in. Yep. So he, uh, what what did that decision, what, who came to who and said, it's time? <laughs> I think he, he came to me and said, oh, crap. I'm going to choose my words very carefully. <laughs> okay. All right, okay. We can edit, we can edit this out if we, if we need She's to. Gonna lose her she, mind. Uh, I felt pretty strongly that uh, the manpower or the, the team had gotten large enough that just too much for one person. Mm -hmm. the, the, the HR that yeah. you're familiar right. with. Yep. The paperwork, the daily operations, everything. even for Wonder Woman here. Well, was... and you were trying to do it on in addition to your job and help out as much as you could, which anybody that knows yep. in a sales traveling yeah. sales job, there's not a lot of free time. Well, and I, mm -hmm. I saw the results on my end too. Yeah. When you're pulled that hard in two directions, you can't do it. Yep. Yeah. Multitasking and, uh, is a. I had an honest farce. conversation with with my boss at that time, and I said, "Look, this is the direction my family's going in." And uh, he was very supportive of it. Um, but in order to keep my wife my wife, mm -hmm. it was time. Yep. And it was probably beyond time, to uh -huh. be honest with you. So you, you were in overtime in your career and at the buzzer. Yes. You know, you, yes. you hit the game-winning shot and said, all right. <laughs> right. So, so what, what, what have the last three years been like? Has it been... Everything, let's Angie. Everything, everything that you, ever everything, everything that you, ever or or are you uh, giving him hints that so maybe first, he should go back into sales? <laughs> so first of all, I'd like to start the story at our home office. Uh, so we still have a home office okay. out of our home, mm -hmm. and we have a T-shaped desk. Okay. And the top part of the T is uh, shelving cupboards. Bottom part of the T is literally a work desk. She sits on one side of that bottom tee, and I sit on the other side. Of it. So we literally have to look each other okay. in the eyes uh -huh. every day, whether you want to or not. Right, it's, right, it's right. Part of the part of work. And when I made the transition over, I was pretty good at what I used to do. Mm -hmm. And Angie had spent the last seven, seven or eight years building our business, yeah. and she was very good mm -hmm. at what she had done. And it was very humbling for me to go back to square one, basically. Yeah, and she was holding your hand, basically, right? <laughs> yes, Showing you yes. the road. And I had to ask her. She's like, just go on the online huddle. Like, <laughs> what, <laughs> what is that? Yeah. What's online huddle? And, you know, what's high apps? <laughs> right, you're, right. You're still wondering what that is, but right. that's all right. I'm, and she'd I'm get frustrated person. with me. I'd uh, say, you have to understand, I don't know right. this stuff. Right. You know, and, yeah. I'm just a caveman that fell on some <laughs> ice, you know. Right, right. and it was um, very humbling, very humbling, mm -hmm. so... Right, so please. I so at that point I did a lot of toilets, uh -huh. did a Land, lot of uh, uh, upgrades on the store, and yeah, yeah, handyman work. Right, right. What, uh, Angie? How how have you handled the transition from him being out of your hair to being now everywhere <laughs> you go? It is a big transition. Um, I think you know it's like when you kind of have to let your kids do things their way because I kind of have a Type A personality, so. It, Everything I did, I did it the best way, and there was no other mm -hmm. way you could do it. Mm -hmm. So it was me letting go again, and, you know, Dan had great ideas, and I had to accept the fact that maybe the way he had to do it was more efficient. With was a fresh a look way. and perspective. Exactly. Yeah. So that was hard, 
for me to let you know maybe do di things differently but we we definitely had great ideas and better ways of doing things mm -hmm. and it was so helpful having the additional help so and the great part is i got good feedback when she had great ideas she there was no doubt right <laughs> uh, oh yeah and you She's, need to do it my way and, yeah. and 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 when you didn't have good ideas when i didn't have good ideas she, yeah actually I knew the girls are good at letting uh -huh. him know right, that right, too right, so right 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 because <laughs> yeah. right. they, they, they got used shy. to they got used to things being done the way mm -hmm. Angie like, did wait them. a minute he's coming right and so it, was, it all up it was hard for the girls too you know they were used to angie's way and Dan's way was a little bit different. So they would probably say it was kind of an, an adjustment for them, too, mm -hmm. the managers. So we separated responsibilities, um, you know, so that, you know, I understand where I could play, and she understood where she could play. And, yeah. and, um, and part of mine was HR, you know, mm -hmm. doing the other things that. like we would talk about. Um, and I came from the sales world, so tracking numbers and trying to set goals and goal tracking mm -hmm. and all that became my baby. So I was having meetings with the managers and everything and that was probably really hard for them to get to know somebody new yeah mm -hmm. and um you know and obviously a male figure probably gives them some trepidation I'm sure. well i mean they're talking to guys every day yeah. like right, geez, right, 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 they're sitting in their they're chairs they're used to telling the guys what to do though. right exactly <laughs> right. Now uh -huh. to tell right. them what to do. <laughs> so there was a lot of making sure they knew it was going to be okay. Mm -hmm. You know, that, look, I'm here to look out for your best interests, and I'm not looking for you doing something bad. I want to look... You're not big brother. Doing something good. Yeah. You know? What are, what are some... So you, you've got a, a unique perspective here from being in sales. Uh, so what kind of... What kind of goal setting or incentives uh, have you implemented for your team? Or maybe over the last three years... Uh, that kind of yeah. helps raise the bar for them, whether it's a uh, payback bar or retail or... Well, I mean, I started doing sales contests okay. more frequently, mm -hmm. um, trying to... Well, like you said, when you walk in the store, you feel an, yep. an energy. Yeah. And I think one of the challenges is it, it is a uh, repetitive job. Yeah. And you can get in the doldrums, so we have to figure out things that bring some juice back, mm -hmm. you know? Right. So we would do... I mean, we... We do an annual March Madness huge bracket where all the stylists, you know, we, we seed them. Yep. We seed them based on seniority from one to okay. whatever we have at that point. Oh, keep going. Yeah. So they have to what? What metrics are you are you measuring against each other? So, so we, somebody goes, dear God, goes against Sandy, Hilda May, Tanya, Tessa. Tessa. Yeah, right, so, right. okay, Amanda, yeah. Brooke. Right. All right. Yeah. So they're going against all of these. Right, right. And that that's... That's kind of the intrigue of the contest mm -hmm. is that you get to go against somebody across town, right. head to head for one week. So mm -hmm. it's much like oh. March Madness, yeah. where you advance round by round, and the metrics are you know payback back bar, home. retail per client, and um, take home um, time. I think it's just those two, isn't it? I think it's just those oh, two. Okay. We, we yeah, start out with something two. different, but we narrow okay. it down. Yeah, and um, and we rate them from one to. 100 or yeah. whatever and then the lowest and the lowest combined kind score like the moves on trophy. oh i see yeah so you know if you're number one and number 10 you're ready who won this year do you remember yes. um tiffany B. yes tiffany Beatty at uh, tiffany Beatty at Amanda's actually store. she was she took it two years in a row two years right? in a row oh yeah. so wow reigning back. champ yeah. so what i was going to ask if it was an upset that's a brag a cinderella yeah. story but it's no. not it's no no she's like the mid-major that just keeps coming and winning all right she is she does awesome she's at 80th and yeah, she was a right. good job. I think that... But yeah, Sandy's been beat. You know? <laughs> oh, well, Hilda May's been beat. Oh, man, you're trying to incentivize right. them. Yeah. Drinking yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> no, and I think that Dan is... I mean, we're really good at the contests and stuff, but I think that also, like, they, they like when we come in the store. You know, so mm -hmm. coming from the sales background... Oh, please do that, team leaders out there. They love... They actually love seeing I'm you. I'm doing my sales calls at the stores. Yeah, okay. But, they're, but you're there, right? Yeah, yeah right. that's yeah. So instead that. of like always making them feel like they're chasing the numbers, because they are, but coming up with ways of always, they're like, I mean, it's like your kids. If you mm -hmm. catch them doing good and rewarding them for good behavior, they're going to keep doing that good behavior. So calling out the good instead of always the bad. So we do do a lot of sales contests and a lot of fun stuff like that. Right. But he is really good at knowing how that feels to constantly be chasing that number and knowing there's other people that can take your position. So mm -hmm. they, we don't, we, and he, he keeps me in check, actually. The girls used to think that he was always the hard bleep, but it's actually probably more than me, more mm -hmm. me. 
was his idea with Sandy to close for Mother's Day. I mean, he's mm-hmm. the one that is a little bit, is yeah. kind of the gentle giant. Mm-hmm. Um, We'd like to just... be closed on Christmas Eve, too. <laughs> yeah. I won't let him close on Christmas oh, Eve. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's a tough one. But just catching them, do you know what I mean? So that's part of, I think, our atmosphere mm-hmm. is, you know, making it fun. Yeah. And I think we, we cranked up the, uh, the company party. Yeah. Um, what, what, what do you do? Well, uh, we, so, so each year, uh, usually at the end of January, yeah. um, cause I think the holidays are pretty busy mm-hmm. for the business, for the families. Do you do it like on a Tuesday or a Wednesday? Sunday night. So we okay, do Sunday, Sunday night. Okay. So after, so if somebody, they work and then we after we get off early, early. Close early. early. Okay. Close early. And Mondays and Tuesdays aren't right. well, crazy busy mm-hmm. in the morning, but Monday's pretty, so it's either that or Saturday night. And yeah. we found that also finding facilities on Sunday nights is way, way easier. Cheap. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Way, I mean, they're dying for business yeah. on Sunday nights. So the last two years, we, we rented out a Blazing Pianos bar. Okay. Is that a dueling? Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. Dueling yeah. Pianos. And um, we rent out the whole bar, and Sandy's husband is... A caterer. Uh, he's a caterer. Yeah. Uh-huh. So, of course, that's where we get our okay, food. Good. He does great prime rib and mm-hmm. steak, and they grill it right there. It's really great. And um, we, we give out a, a large sum of prizes, awards, and money. We do our... Um, uh, What's, what's the, the season ticket contest? Or? Yeah, we do a season ticket contest okay. towards the end of the year. Yeah. Um, a trip, um, like a value of like $2,000. That's where she's is, going. She's going. Sandy won. She's going to the DR. Sandy won. Okay. Yes. So when you yes. gave her that okay. t-shirt, it was yeah. perfect. All right. <laughs> she's yeah, going on, on vacation. vacation. Yeah. She's yeah. going. Vacation she won the trip. Yep, yeah. she won so the trip. So each time you sell a season ticket, you get a ticket to okay. enter like a raffle? for the drawing. Yeah. Wow. So the more you sell, the better chance you mm-hmm. have. Oh, that's a But if you sell idea. one, you can win. Yeah, exactly. No, so that's I a wonderful like idea. The, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. So the big tri- prize there is, is the trip, but we also have, uh, I mean, I don't know. We have, what what are the purse brands? MK purses. MK purses. And purses. And you don't know the purse help. brands? Come on. We, we said Sandy shopping. Yeah. Uh-huh. And we tried to broaden it this year. Tickets. We got some vacuums in there. We got um, tickets to Justin, Justin Timberlake. Um you know things that they might not buy with their own money um, that are but nice. experiential. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, you know, like the Google Homes and all that yeah. stuff. And um, so we try to make it a big event. We sink a substantial amount of money into it, mm-hmm. and we do our um, ten-year bonuses. That's what I was looking for. Yep. The ten-year bonuses. So how many years they've been there? And what do you do? Um, and we cash. we give them a cash. Is it a certain bonus. amount for every year? Yeah, yeah. every okay. year. And we had to rewrite the book because now we have over 10 years. We didn't even have uh-huh. right, of course, made yeah. for that. Right. So she got a, a big crystal, mm-hmm. you know, in appreciation for her work and everything. Who is it? Is it Sandy? Who, who is the 10-year? Yeah. We have yeah, three of them, actually, Oh, right? okay. Yeah. And the cool thing is, is it, it's grown into a great event. They have a lot of fun. I bet no one misses it unless no. their kids are sick or something. And yeah. I can tell you the establishment loves it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Do Lots they, do they because there's a lot of active good business yeah, for uh-huh, Sunday night, yeah, uh-huh. real good business. Um, and but they bring their families. It Just allows us place. to. Okay. They see Team us members as only. people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We have fun with them. And you're outside the store. Yeah. And um, a special thing that I want to point out is that our managers took it upon themselves every year. It's become a tradition. Well, there's two traditions. We tell them a small presentation, something about us that they may not know. Mm-hmm. Um, I think one year, well, what, what are you, oh, I'm in trouble now. Our 20th anniversary was one year. Okay. So, okay. Um, and we, wait, did you get married in 2000? We played them. 98. 98. 98. Oh, okay. Yep. We just had our 20th. Oh, you just had, okay. I see. It was so we played ago. them our wedding video, oh, okay. you know, that you play yeah. at the, um, things like that. We tell them something about this, but they started their own tradition is they buy us a present. Oh my gosh! Purpose. And actually, one of the presidents is right behind yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. From what, this past year. What, what, what is? It's over my. Uh, what is this? My right shoulder. Right. If you're watching on YouTube, I know it's it's right here. Uh, and uh, I I don't want to pick it up because it's heavy and breakable. Uh, and I've already dropped some things in my life on podcasts, like Logan Trophy. But uh, <laughs> what 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 is uh, what what is this shadow box? What is this all about? Why don't you tell me? pictures of all of us together at the huddle and just some different gatherings we've done and then they printed out all of the letters that they wrote to nominate us for team leaders of the year so 
I can't read them without uh, right. crying. There so are some, there's cool. some really good And ones. it's cool because it's how each one, how we have affected each one of them, each manager. So, and then a stylist, Tara, who's battling stage four cancer. So it's pretty cool to have them say right. that about us. And now yeah. we can keep it forever. And it's, it's, it's great. I mean, that's what it's all about right there, mm -hmm. is being a big family and everything. Um, I was, it's funny because I was going to ask you one of my final questions was what's the most rewarding part about being a team leader I feel like is is what's over my shoulder is that kind of what we... yeah and I have another story that I often share is um, it was Valentine's Day and I think I still have the text on my phone so it's Valentine's Day you know we're 20 years in so of course we're doing something super romantic you know with McDonald's. two children right? Chick-fil-a catch you on the couch at nine o'clock yeah. after the kids are in bed well, they actually thing, bought us a 250 know, gift but... certificate to a really nice restaurant <laughs> mm -hmm. We were probably attending this, some sort of child Sporting, event, yeah. but at any rate, it was Valentine's Day, not this year, a couple of years ago, and I see a text message come through from one of the assistant managers of one of our stores, and I'm like, oh, great, you know, what's going on? Yeah. And it literally said something to the effect that I just got approved for a house mm -hmm. by myself. I would have never had this opportunity if I didn't work for you and Dan. Thank you so much. So that, wow. I mean, to me, that is so rewarding. Yeah. We've had, you know, we've had people be able to get off of government assistance. We've had people buy their first cars, and that that's what's rewarding. And that, for me. The crazy thing is, and you you've you probably always had a heart for other people, but you made this decision for Sport Clips eleven, twelve years ago yep. because you needed a change. You you really it, it sounds horrible. But you weren't being selfish, but you you needed to think about your own family. Right. And yet the reverberations, you know, like ripples in the water. Right. And look at all the people that you're affecting because you made a great decision. And you keep making good decisions. And right. you, you, you tweak and you, you calibrate and you refine along the way. And yet you've got stylists like this, like Tara, was it Tara? Tara. What, the yeah. one battling yeah. cancer. And, yeah, I mean, a rising tide hopefully rises all boats. Yeah, you know? exactly. And I think, it, I think you, you definitely have the opportunity to, to do that with this. But I would say my... You know, the most rewarding thing for me is our relationship with our kids. Because mm. that's what we... Yeah, that's what you did it for. Yep, yep. Yeah. And um, can't get that back. You know, right. That time is very, very important. Can't put a dollar value on it. What was it a couple weeks ago? I don't know. My daughter did track and she, you know, she runs an 800, which is two and a yes. half minutes. That's it, you yep. know. And she had to track me a couple hours away. And I was like, there's no way. I mean, I have so much I need to do. And Dan's like, remember, this is why we are do. This is why yeah. we work for you ourselves. You can do those things later. Right. Right. This is why we later. work for ourselves. You can do those at midnight if you want. Yep. yep. So I drove two hours one way to watch her, and she had a PR. So, I mean, oh, and that's course. my thing. I'm a trackster. Yes. So right. that was even my event. Mm -hmm. So They may not know what PR means. Uh, so you better per um, personal yeah. record. Yes. 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 <laughs> So I remember, you know, cheer. Yeah. I mean, it's a, it's a moment I will never ever forget. Where, so. Did you have your your phone out and you were videoing the whole thing? Oh, absolutely! Okay. Like yeah. I go on okay. the back side of the right. track and scream like All a crazy right. lady, uh -huh. so nobody can see. Well, you me. are. So you are. A crazy I am lady. a crazy lady. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. At least you're embracing it. <laughs> but I mean, I think that's important. Is that you, you have to remember who you are and why you got into it. Yeah. And it's it's really actually difficult. The more we grow, there's more temptation to get away from why you got into it. But I think if you stay laser focused on why, then if you're doing things for the right reasons, it'll work out. And I think that's where we come from. I mean, I I, don't I, know. I just think <laughs> I just think that's I don't know. I my little saying is when I interview the people, you know, sport clips, and I share our mission statement with them. But I say even more importantly is how can I ask you as an employee of me to provide an excellent client experience if you don't have that experience as a stylist. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I I learned at my very first job out of college that it doesn't matter who you are in that organization, I don't have a job without you doing your job. Mm -hmm. Even if your job seems very you know task oriented, I need you to have my job. I, I need every one of these stylists or I don't even have a job or a company. Yeah. So I think about that. It's crazy, they need that. you. And y'all need them, right? Yeah. Right. But so. mutually beneficial. Yep. Yeah. Symbiotic, I yes. think, is the word that yes. we're looking for. We're pretty ordinary people. I mean, I don't need fancy things. Mm -hmm. I guess you would say yeah. we're pretty Midwestern. I guess yeah. you'd uh -huh. say. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So um, I'm happy to allow. You know, if somebody's doing good, they deserve to be paid. Mm -hmm. So. 
Uh, I got a couple questions, but uh, this, I need you to help me settle something. Uh, do you guys live on the Nebraska side or the Iowa side? Nebraska. Darn it. And I, I only said. live in Iowa. Okay. <laughs> I grew up in Iowa. So. I know. So the reason I'm saying this, and this has nothing to do with the podcast, but I, I'm recording. I'm not going to stop the record button. But so at Huddle, we're backstage prepping for the awards ceremony the day before. Mm-hmm. And we're running through stuff or whatever. And um, Gordon and Ed were on the stage and pops up, Team Leaders of the Year. So, spoiler alert. I, okay. <laughs> and, um, but it didn't say where, it didn't say your store numbers. And, but uh, it was supposed to say where you're from. All right. And in my mind, I know Hilda May. Right. All right. And uh, Sandy as well. But, but Hilda May is the one I probably communicated sure, most with. Sure. Uh, IA601. Right. So, from backstage, I shout. It's Iowa! And then somebody relays to, you know, Gordon or whatever. Again, this is like, this is all pre, you know, no one's right, around. Right, it's right, just right, practice. Right. And, and Gordon's like, well, I don't think it's Iowa. Uh, Ed, Edward, where's, uh, where, where do the Roberts live? And <laughs> Edward, Edward says, I, I, it's in the Midwest somewhere. And, uh, and then and Gordon says, oh, I think it's Nebraska. And I was like, no, it's Iowa! <laughs> well, and, and so anyways, eventually... <laughs> they they tell the production team, um, put Nebraska on the slide and we'll figure it out later. Right. So I was hoping it was oh, Iowa just so I could. Uh, I, I've never been right with Gordon. So it's like, a consolation <laughs> I grew up in. Iowa. I know. See, right, I mean, right. Iowa State is your. Is your Iowa State, right, I love. Your brother yes, and your uncle, yeah, your yeah, dad. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. So, anyways, okay, so back to the podcast. Yes, um, and then and I'm going to ask you 10 random questions here in a second. But first, I'm going to ask you each a specific question. Wow. Oh, boy. Okay, and I'm gonna start Do with we have that. a buzzer? No. Oh, okay. Um, no, but the, the, uh, this one, see, I'm going to ask Dan first to give Angie time to think about Thank her you. answer. Uh, Dan, the best thing that Angie brings to this partnership mm-hmm. at Sport Clips is what? Uh, I would say planning, discipline, organization, and faith. Okay. Oh, jeez. So you described a type A person to a T right there. Okay. All right. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. Uh, Angie, the best thing that Dan brings to this partnership is? Patience. Mm-hmm. Um, he thinks through things. He analyzes. Um, uh, he's very intelligent, very good with numbers. Um, he's really good with the girls. Like, just, I'm more emotional. He's more even keel. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we got the A and the B, right? <laughs> so we got the left brain and the right brain working here. Right. Um, all right, great. This has been amazing, uh, by the way. And I, uh, I went over half an hour longer than I had um, intended to, so my bad. Uh, but this has been such good stuff. I, um, I wanted to keep going. Uh, can I ask you the ten questions? These are just fun, and I'll just <laughs> volley back okay. and forth. All right. Um, so I'll start, Angie. I'll start with you, ladies first again. Okay. Okay. Which superpower would you most like to have? Which superpower? Uh-huh. Um, I don't know. Which superpower? To grant everybody whatever wish they wanted. Okay. Is it, do you use in Aladdin trailers or something right, right now? Right. So you want yeah. to be that, uh, yeah. that, that genie? Genie. Okay. Yep. All right. Sure. Okay. Sure. I like it. Uh, so we'll switch to Dan. What is, number two, what is your personal motto? Oh boy. Uh, can you can you go YOLO or not? <laughs> YOLO? Is that yeah, is that yeah, too yeah, basic? That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> basic, yeah. 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 You yeah. only live once? Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's fine. Uh back to Angie. Other than where you live now, where else in the world would you most like to live? Hawaii. <laughs> Hawaii? Oh yeah. Do you guys um, go? We've been. We actually went there and used our travel voucher. We would from, use our yeah, travel voucher Logan from Trophy. Sport Clips. Really? For Logan yeah. Trophy Rings, what what so. island? Maui, Maui and Oahu. Okay. And we actually visited Sport Clips while we were there. We you visited did? Sport oh, Clips. Oh, I love those uh, those Sport Clips. Yes. Okay. Yeah. That was, I'll that be seeing them again. Yeah, yeah Oahu yeah. is yeah. the only yeah. one that yeah. I have them right yeah. now. Yeah, yeah. I want to. Anyway, yeah, somewhere like that where it's just peaceful, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. That was pretty That's amazing. That's a good answer. Um... Either one of you. Who's a celebrity you'd most like to meet one day? Ooh. Uh, I don't know. My favorite movie of all time is Field of Dreams. Okay, so Kevin Costner. Kevin or... Costner would okay. be a good one. Yeah. 
Yeah. A good mid Midwestern boy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. His, his favorite movie is The Field of Dream. Uh, let's see. I, I usually ask this of the person, but I'm going to ask uh, Angie this about Dan. Which words or phrases does he most overuse? What does he say too much? <laughs> You know, I don't know. You know, you know, you know? I, I can see that. Okay, Dan, what yeah. about her? You know, um, I do everything around here. Oh, all right. Wow. Sorry. <laughs> so I guess you're who, who drove here? Who, I, separately. Who, one of you. Oh, okay. <laughs> drove you drove separately. separately. <laughs> good, good thinking. Right. <laughs> Did you feed the dog? Uh, okay. Yes. Uh, okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, Angie, they'll do this one. What sound or noise do you love? What sound or noise do I love? Mm -hmm. And it's raining outside, so <laughs> right, that's an that easy. Okay. I'll uh, say the ocean. The I'm ocean. Go to okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Dan, what sound or noise do you hate? Oh, the, oh, you went opposite. Right? Uh huh. I was gonna say yeah. I like I like the sound of a fan. I, we didn't, I hate. We didn't ask you that question. I know. I got to shift gears. Yeah. Uh -huh. oh, sorry. Right. Think on your. I guess, what do I hate? Uh, I would say. Goodness gracious. Um, whining? Yes. Yeah. And, and, Thank you. Thank and, you. Anybody whining? Yes. Or is there some, like a the dog whining, whining is, sound? No, I would say kids okay. whining. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Kids yeah. 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 or teenagers. Yeah. Right. You know what? I The sound or noise that I hate, it's the sound of my teenager's eye roll. Oh, yeah. that doesn't make it. It doesn't make uh, yeah. okay. like in my mind. It has to sound like Ugh. right, right. right. <laughs> okay, uh, what profession? I'm gonna ask Angie. Other than your own, where you're at now, would you have been good at, or at least have wanted to try that you didn't? What profession? I was gonna say teaching, but I don't know that I'd really be good at. I think I'd be good at it. Mm -hmm. um, Track coach. Right. <laughs> um, I'll just go with teaching. Okay. I suppose you go back to uh, Des Moines with your college marketing. Well, yeah. yeah. I mean, I did that though. Mm -hmm. Marketing, I do that. So. When we, marketing she, she gave up her dream job when we left Des Moines. Oh, <laughs> uh, wow. That college was marketing. Yes. That was fun. Yes. Oh, very nice. Yeah. Yeah. And now you're living another dream. That's right. yes. A better dream. Yes. Uh, I'm going to ask each of you this question. I'll start with Dan. What do you consider your greatest achievement? Boy, I would say uh, outside of being married for 20 years. Mm -hmm. 21. 21. Yeah. Almost. Okay. Uh, I, uh, I would have to say... Um, I mean, looking back at it, I would have to say probably building this business to what it's funny because, I mean, that, as we talk about it, the, the impact right. that we've, I would have never imagined. I mean, our first awards party we had, we had seven or eight people in the mm -hmm. room. In our last one, I look out at the room and there's 115 yeah. people. You're pinching yourself going, I can't believe mm -hmm. we're here. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah. and you have to remember that each one of those has mouths to feed and mm -hmm. a house to go back to mm -hmm. so um I, it has to be that it has to be angie i would Greatest say um a mayor our marriage our family and just stay in stay in who we are stay in humble and stay in mm -hmm. yeah I don't. If you're from the Midwest, you have a choice, right? But um, to be humble and right, really, it's not like you're a Californian where you, right, you know, right. Like, yes, we've, know. we've, we've crossed, humble people. We've come across people yeah. that you know. So I think that's. Uh, last question. I'll ask Angie. Dan, you talk too much. Uh, <laughs> if heaven indeed exists, what would you like to hear God say when you arrive at the pearly gates? Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's not what I want him to say. If I wow, what? How did you get here? No, no, right, right. Uh, what? What? Wow, he probably you did would say so wow. great. <laughs> um, I would want him to be proud of everything that I did. What he's asked me to do, mm -hmm. I do try to put him first. Um, so I would so say, I'm and proud then of, I'm proud of you. Yeah, kind of statement. yeah, yeah. You've done what I asked you to do. Mm -hmm. No, no. I got some work to do, but... <laughs> Daniel, I'll ask you too. What, what do you hope to hear? 
That was an incredibly appropriate question for her, by the way. Okay. That was like perfect. Uh -huh. I would say, you know, I, I'm proud of you, but I would say I'm, I'm proud of you for what you've done with what I've given you. Mm -hmm. You know, because everybody has gifts and it's whether yep. or not you share them. Exactly. Oh, there's a parable about that as well. Yeah. Yes. Not that I'm going to reference that right now, but right, hey, right. you guys have been amazing. Uh, obviously, you, you, you win awards. Not just team leader of the year, but your stores, president club, chairman store. I mean, every everything, uh, rising star stores, shooting stars, all, all this stuff. But it's not just about the awards. I think it's about the experiences and the memories. Uh, even as we talked about what your team members go through and how they share their thoughts about you and and what they feel about you, it goes to say a lot about how you're leading and. Thank you for choosing Sport Clips uh, all those years ago and making those tough decisions early yeah. on and doubling down and doing yes. those, those necessary steps. Uh, well, we're thankful for Gordon and Edward allowing mm -hmm. us to have yes. this dream and franchising because yeah. they could have kept it all to themselves. So we're thankful right. for the You're opportunity. Right. Sharing the idea. And yeah. Gordon could vouch for this every time I run into him at the huddle. I thank him for the opportunities he's given us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's amazing. Well, thank you guys again. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Gordon. And yes. uh, thanks everybody for, uh, we know Gordon's listening, but thanks everybody else <laughs> for listening to this edition. I know especially team leaders are going to get a lot out of it. And I think the stylist team members will as well. So thanks everyone. Thanks for having thanks. us. Bye. Hey, all right. All right. Awesome. Awesome. So awesome. No, you guys are fine. No, you're you fine. Can cut I, I'm not going to. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. I mean, I felt this bad. Is, it was so long. No, I, I would much listen. I'd much rather have more content than for them to listen to. They can always turn it off if they want. Right. But for me to go, you know, like sometimes when I um, interviewed the Ageless Aviation guys, I it was the weekend of. Oh, my gosh. Um, 